VFX artists are officially cooked because with just $10, one hour of my time and this one AI tool, I turn myself into a movie star. Now all of these special effects were made using Higgsfield AI. And the best part is I only need one image of myself and a prompt of what I want to happen and then I can generate some sick results. You can do all kind of crazy things like this for example. And in this video I will teach you how you can turn yourself into a movie star by generating different scenes like being punched in the face, disintegrating into dust, and by setting yourself on fire. I will also teach you how you can apply all of these Hollywood level camera movements to your scenes. And lastly, we will generate some crazy product ads. Now, if you want to follow along, then click the link that's in the description down below. After logging in, this is Higgsfield AI. What you wanna do next is you wanna click on create video and here you can apply any style of effect to your video. So if we're gonna click on change right here, then you can see we can choose between all of these different effects that we can apply to our video. We have a few cool ones like this powder explosion. We have this 3D rotation, anything is possible with this tool. We can switch between effects, basic camera control, epic camera control, and we can even catch the pulse, whatever that means. The best part is you can combine different effects by clicking on mix. And now I can turn into metal and I can also have my eye zoom in. So that is something crazy, right? You can mix different effects together then next up what you want to do is you want to choose your frame you can do a beginning frame and an end frame it basically works by you entering in your prompt and then choosing the model and then you generate it let's start with the first effect for that we first need ourselves an image so we click on create and then we go back to image you can generate images using Higgsfield they have this thing called soul and with soul you can generate some images so I have this image right here which is about a news reporter being tied up to a chair with a destroyed like set. But honestly, I don't think it looks that great. So instead of using this, I'd rather use something that is called OpenArt. I will leave a link to OpenArt in the description down below. Basically, this is in my opinion, the best way to generate images. So for this in OpenArt, we're gonna create an image. Then we're gonna choose the model, which is Flux Dev. Then we're gonna enter in our prompt. I have a bit of a long prompt right here, but in my opinion, this works best. So then I'm gonna change some advanced settings which is the prompt adherence i'm going to change that to two and then i'm going to change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. You can now generate different type of examples and then we have a result like this. Our next step is to upscale this and we're gonna upscale it using the upscale model which is the 2x upscaler and now we have a higher resolution image. Then we download this one and then we go back to Higgsfield and inside Higgsfield we're going to click on video. Now I already have the effect selected but basically how it works is you can just click on any type of effect. So here I choose building explosion and I mixed it together with disintegrate. So now I'm adding in my image and the next part is you want to write your prompt for the explosion. So you kind of like want to explain what's going on. So I have my prompt right here, which is the scene unfolds in a dimly lit studio where there's some tension going on. Without warning, there's a massive explosion erupting in the background and then the stuff like is disintegrating into dust. That's basically what this prompt is, but a bit more advanced. You can use ChatGPT to write your prompt. In my opinion, that works best. Now, next up, what you want to do is you want to go to some of the advanced settings. You can change the duration. I want to have it at five seconds. You can even add in your seat if you want to have a continuous type of effect. I just keep this to random and then the steps I just leave this at 20. Now for the model we can switch between light, standard and turbo. Normal gives the best quality but is also the most expensive. Besides that for the prompt I'm going to use enhance on. I've tested out a few times and in this case for some reason enhance on actually works a bit better. So now you click on generate and then then you will have a video like this one. 
Now let's try the second effect. And for this, I wanna be punched in the face, but not really because no one wants to be punched in the face. So the way this works, we first again need to have an image. And for that, we go back to open art. So I have a prompt where I kind of like describe myself, but I also describe what's going on. So I have a, a blood on my face. I am sitting on a rusted chair and it's kind of like in a interrogation room. Now, what we have with Flux Pro is we can add in an Omni reference. So what I can do is I can basically take this image of myself which is literally a screenshot of one of my videos and I can just drop it in there. We're gonna keep the sizing to 16 by nine and then we hit create and then you get an image like this. Again, the next step is to upscale this into 2X. So now we have a high res resolution image that we can use inside of Higgsfield. Then we click on download. Now we go back to Higgsfield. We're gonna remove this image. We're gonna remove these effects and I'm gonna change this to the face punch. So let me drop in my image. Now we enter in the prompt, which is the young man sits bloody and tense in the rusted chair. Then a mafia henchman suddenly swings a brutal punch from off frame, striking him hard across the face. In slow motion, his head snaps to the side, skin rippling as blood and sweat spray into the still air. Quite dramatic. For this one, let's use Enhance On and we're gonna use the Turbo because it's a bit faster. It's also a bit cheaper. Now for the duration, we still wanna keep it at five seconds. And now we click on Generate. So damn, <laughs> you see the blood and the sweat like going off my face. It, it looks realistic. I'm, I'm curious if I send this to my mom and what she thinks about it. I should, I should do that in some, in some videos sometime. Moving on, number three, I wanna show you how you can generate some sick camera effects. Like look at all these videos. You can have some crazy camera control just by using the VFX that I have already created for us. Once again, I wanna go back to open art for my image because that's always gonna be the first input. Then we're gonna enter in or prompt and this time i want to do a young woman that's sitting in the back seat of her car she's looking kind of like sad in this way and here we have our results so you know the drill upscale it and then we download it now we're gonna go back into Higgsfield. we're gonna change the effect and this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the effect now we're gonna do zoom in and we're gonna mix that together with this car grip thing so we see this guy looks quite sick gonna add in my image now then i just entered in my prompt and this prompt basically explains everything that's going on or that what that i want to see in this video i'm gonna click on hands on and for this one i'm gonna choose the model turbo again and now we hit generate so just take a look at this effect so we have the cars behind her just moving along slow zoom in and we can see her driving the lighting looks quite insane honestly this looks really realistic and all we did is used ai for this let's try another effect so here i got this image of a girl eating some ramen or some noodles and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use an advanced technique here so this is something if we were to do this for real then we have to hire a expensive robo arm so how it works is we're gonna click on the effects and we're gonna do epic camera control and here we want to scroll all the way down to robo arm then you want to enter in your prompt, but honestly, you can also try this out without your prompt. Most of the time, this works as well. So we're going to keep and hands on. Then we're going to do turbo again, and click on generate. Okay, so it's not perfect. You see like small, small glitches like there. But honestly, this is quite sick. Like this would work so good on like an Instagram post. Now we can make this even better by mixing the robo arm together with a different effect. So here I have an effect that's called metal. And now let's see that if we generate this, if that works. So you can see it does work kind of but it doesn't quite do the robo arm anymore so as you can see like these two things they struggle a little bit but if you choose the mix effect then you can already see like for example if i type in metal then you can see that apparently these ones that are already like pre-mixed for you these tend to work better than choosing random things that don't work together if you go to hicksfield slash ads then you can also make any of these cool ads using hicksfield so what we're gonna do this time is i have this prepared which is is called the city monument for this one i've already prepared a perfume bottle now we can just click on generate and then you get a result like this here's another example that i made with a soda can using this different effect 
Now, if you want to try out Higgsfield, then you have a few different options. I went with the ultimate plan because I wanted to try out everything. And honestly, you don't burn through credits that quickly. So I would say with the pro plan or the ultimate plan, you will have plenty of credits and that will last you a long while. If you want to generate a shit ton of things like I did, then the ultimate plan is your best option because you can also generate like with four different jobs at the same time. So this is perfect for those that are the heavy users. If you also want to generate high quality images using OpenArt, then I will leave the link to both OpenArt and Higgsfield in the description down below so you can try them out both yourself. If you want to learn more about how you can use OpenArt to generate high quality images using Flux Context, then click the video that's on the screen right now where I will go in depth on how you can get the most out of this tool.